Hey, Josh, grab that door. Yep. It's Christmas all over again. Come here, John. Come here, sweetheart. I got a present for you. I dug this out of my stash. You can't love Fast and Loud without loving Misfit Garage. Apart from the fact that the latter is a spin-off series of the former, it has gone on to establish itself as one of the most sought-after reality TV shows in history. Misfit Garage is a Discovery Channel show that revolves around the daily activities of two mechanics fired from the Dallas, Texas-based show Gas Monkey Garage. Tom Smith and Jordan Butler, as well as Thomas Weeks and Scott McMillan, together start a new company, Fired Up Garage. The series, which premiered October 13, 2014, is produced by Pilgrim Studios, with Craig Pillagian, Richard Rawlings, and Eddie Rowetter as executive producers, and Craig Kaufman additionally serving as executive producer for the Discovery Channel. Don't get all the names twisted. Fast and Loud is different from Fired Up Garage. Likewise, Fired Up Garage is totally different from Misfit Garage. It's just the names of the cast. Also, the fact that the top cast members of Misfit Garage are fired from their previous work doesn't mean they're less of a car designer. In fact, they're among the best in terms of automobiles, and that's why we bring the latest information about them to you. Let's hop into what the cast members of Misfit Garage are into now. Come on, guys, let's go to work. We got stuff to do. Hey, we're going to build it, but we ain't unloading it. Y'all suck, you know that? Misfit Garage, co-produced by Richard Rawlings, who's also the co-producer of other awesome automobile-themed reality TV shows like Gas Monkey Garage, Fast and Loud, Garage Rehab, and more. The list goes on with extraordinary content dished out by these shows. However, Misfit Garage was special. Richard Rawlings was in the spotlight, all thanks to the Misfit Garage and its cast members. The brilliant performance and unwavering engagement by the series' immensely popular and talented staff, most notably Tom Smith, Jordan Butler, Thomas Weeks, and Scott McMillan, among others, were all Richard Rawlings needed to stay in the limelight. Even though the cast members keep changing season after season due to human needs, the show has done quite well for itself in the world of automobile reality TV shows. It was explained that Tom Smith and Jordan Butler were the original members of Fast and Loud before being cast on Misfit Garage. How could that be possible when Richard Rawlings is the producer of both shows? Did he fire them and later reinstate them? Rawlings means oodles of drama, and it didn't seem out of character when the show Fast and Loud fired these two lead hosts after a heated argument ensued between them and Rawlings himself. Richard Rawlings himself explained that the firing was staged so that Tom Smith and Jordan Butler could leave the show and start Misfit Garage. American reality TV shows are synonymous with firing cast or cast members, so I get Richard Rawlings' logic. Although there seems to be some other reason behind why Richard Rawlings opted to fire these two mechanics on the show. Could it be to get the attention from the viewers and mainstream media, or maybe both? No one will ever know for sure. However, the spinoff show has come a long way since the date airing of its first episode in 2014. However, there has been no news on the main cast long after the last season. Although a spinoff with six seasons filled with cars and drama, Misfit Garage has been very successful in its own right. If you're curious about the whereabouts of the cast from Misfit Garage, then stay glued to your screen. Tom Smith Tom Smith is undoubtedly the comedic relief of Misfit Garage, as he was known for his hilarious one-liners. Viewers owe Tom Smith a lot because he's always ready to make everyone laugh. Tom Smith has childhood dreams, and one of such is to own a garage named FNU, and that was precisely why the show producers of Fired Up Garage borrowed the name of Tom's childhood garage and made him a cast member in the show. This was before he was fired and employed as a mechanic at Misfit Garage. Aside from being a mechanic, Tom Smith is also a professional stand-up comedian. This explains Tom's hilarious acts on the show. Tom regularly performs at several clubs. On the side, he also works on personal and client car projects about which he keeps his fans informed through regular posts. Tom is yet to explore his comedic talent while filming. Tom has been moonlighting as a comedian, and he appears to have been giving it more time these days. Since the pandemic, Tom has been performing live comedy sessions to help people out of depression. Tom also helps to transport needy dogs to care units, and recently, he had been hinting at his fans through Facebook posts about him starting his own auto mod show. After the show concluded on undefined terms without official cancellation or renewal, many began wondering what happened with the series and its cast, and whether they're still invested in the automotive industry. Tom Smith is fully into stand-up comedy now. Jordan Butler 
another co-star of Fired Up Garage, it's safe to call Butler a partner in crime because they have always been together on most shows. Their stage fight also led to their termination on Fired Up Garage before they started hosting Misfit Garage. Butler is a TV personality and automobile technician that gained popularity on Fast and Loud before moving on to Misfit Garage. Butler started working on cars right from childhood, and he learned a lot from his father, who repairs bicycles. During high school, Butler's interest in cars made him start racing to earn money and prove that he was an automobile guy. After completing his education, he attended Wild Tech and studied street rotting, fabrication, and auto body collision. Allegedly, Jordan was a part of John Force's pit crew and traveled with them to participate in drag races. After his spell with John Force's crew, he focused more on mechanics rather than racing. To avoid leaving his passion for racing, he decided to focus on building race cars. At some point in his career, he met Richard Rawlings, who offered him a job at Gas Monkey Garage before he later fired him for calling Richard an Knowing fully well that it was staged, Butler was still of the opinion that employees shouldn't be fired for calling their employers Jordan Butler exited the show in 2014 because he didn't want to relocate to a new shop and work with new partners. He wrote on social media, I don't desire to work with cars, especially after all that BS was fired up. Since then, he's been off the grid, rumored to be spending time in his personal garage and with his family. He's always active on Facebook, but since 2018, he stopped posting before posting early this year. He posted on his Facebook, been in hiding for a few years, I'm back to wrenching again, building cool sh and working on anything and everything. Got a buddy that has a pretty cool fab shop, been hanging out over there a lot. We have been building some pretty cool stuff, picks to come. Scott McMillan Scott McMillan is another cast member on Misfit Garage that grew up loving cars. Scott inherited a passion for cars at a very young age. Scott was born and raised in Texas, which gave him the opportunity to learn his father's craft. During his high school days, Scott, who was already a pro in car design, built his first car and sold it to earn some bucks. Upon graduation, Scott enlisted in the United States Marine Corps and did a couple of tours with the military. His passion for the military was cut short after he had a near-death experience in Iraq. This made him retrace his steps and focus solely on car design. Scott McMillan met the likes of Butler and Tom Smith through Aaron Kaufman, an ex-mechanic at Monkey Garage. Scott now runs his private shop called Scott Rod's Garage, which was founded in 2011. Thomas Weeks Thomas Weeks is a car enthusiast and self-taught mechanic who came into the limelight after appearing in Misfit Garage. He's a self-taught mechanic because he learned almost everything about cars himself after developing a passion for them. Thomas grew up with his father and spent lots of times in his garage, which contributed to his undying love for cars. However, his passion soon turned into agony when he had an accident in his father's garage. While his father was beneath the car working, Thomas decided to seize the opportunity to take a glance at how things are done in the garage. He slipped and fell on the rod sticking out, which passed through his mouth. The ugly incident dissuaded Thomas from pursuing a career as a mechanic. However, his father stood by him and persuaded him not to give up on his passion for acquiring knowledge about automobiles. When he was 15, his father gifted him a 1995 Chevy truck without an engine. The scope behind this was to make Thomas embrace automobile work again, and the trick did work. Thomas accepted the gift and built an engine for the truck. Thomas was fully back as a mechanic after building the Chevy truck's engine and opened a shop where he met Richard. Aside from being a mechanic, Thomas is a fully licensed pilot, and that has helped his net worth a lot, coupled with the new YouTube channel he runs with Paul Baker. Misfit Garage stopped airing with no official announcement. The likes of Tom Smith and his comic acts will surely be missed. Would you want a revival of the series back on your screen?